Trombon. Tigger. Too much advice. TMA. It's said that men are from Mars and women are from Venus. And Kate Poppin wants to help lessen the gap between the two worlds. Everything on Love Every Friday with our little Professor Christian. What's up? I told you he wouldn't be late. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It's getting so crazy these days because of this floating mm. thing. I mean, I probably you said it already. Mm. But oh my goodness. I mean, I live around the Hand River. Mm-hmm. So there's a place I used to go and take the bicycle. Mm-hmm. It's not there anymore. It's underwater. You, you cannot see. It's underwater. Mm-hmm. I will never expect... Like, when I first came here to Korea, I was actually thinking, like, oh, if it rains a lot, does the, the river yeah. will, like, you know, float everything? It does. It does. It does. And it's scary. It looks scary because it's, like, kind of a park. Mm-hmm. And you have, like, you know, like, place to play soccer mm-hmm. and volleyball and everything. Mm-hmm. is not there anymore. Mm-hmm. You can see only the, when you know when you score the basketball mm-hmm. thing, just that. that. Yeah, you can see only the basket. You know? and right after the water. Yeah. And, wow. And there's like uh, there's the night the street lights that you can see the water up all the way up, so the street light looks like really small. Yes. There's trees yes. that are planted there that you can only see the top of the trees. That's right. Yeah. That's, it's a little bit scary. It's like mm-hmm. a movie, you know. Uh, so this happened. Uh, it was a little bit worse l- about nine years ago. Mm-hmm. They had to close down the Olympic Highway. Oh yeah. Because of one of the parts was so low that it was flooded. Was that bad? It was that bad. But I woke up this morning and on on my way to work, I noticed that the water level had decreased. Ex- okay. A lot than yesterday. Okay. So I think we should be okay. But we are going to be continually seeing showers today and tomorrow as well. So what do our listeners need to do domestically? Stay tuned, Adi on Radio. Yes. Keep your radio next to you. Yes. Christian, there's a lot of messages coming in, so please read some of our messages for today. Let's get it on. Nikki, the egg yolk guys is here. Because <laughs> they know they're really excited oh. about your penalty today. Oh, really? So you were promoting it all the I time. I didn't say probably. anything. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I actually forgot you had a penalty oh, today. Oh, really? No I, I way. You look so happy today. Because they said it. We have Bere Vargas saying, hola, hola, Bere. Ale Martinez, Christian, as handsome as always. Oh, thank you very much. You're so nice. Um, we have uh, Minelia de Leon. Hi, Christian. Regards from Houston. Houston, Texas. I love Houston. Um, Andy Garcia, stay safe, guys. A lot of people. Oh, Sarai Roja. Amo tu risa, Christian. I love your laugh. Mm. It's, it's a little bit like, you know, like noisy, isn't it? No, we love it. <laughs> we like, love it. Yeah. Love my it. dad used to make fun of my laugh. Why? Uh, I don't know, because it was it was too loud, I guess. Aww. It wasn't noisy. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Okay. What are you going to do? Yeah. I, I think our parents are our worst critics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think our parents are our worst yeah, critics. It's true. It's true. Okay. So we've got our, we have a story today. I think I, I really need to know this because mm. I am so with the girl in this situation. Oh. I need to know this. Christian, you have to tell me because All right. I don't get it. Like, I am so on the girl side, and today, I think our listeners are going to be all over the place as well. There's going to be a lot of mixed messages coming Mm, back. So, uh, we're going to dive into our story for today. Fam, get ready to vote. This is going to be a penalty at the end of this, so get ready for that, too. But also, try to help our listener in their troublesome time. So, are you ready, Chris? Let's do it. Are you ready to be the significant other? Yes. Okay, then let's go. A month ago, I went on a blind date and we hit it off. We've been texting non-stop since then and we talk on the phone often too, but we never meet in person. The guy keeps saying he's busy, but I'm starting to doubt if he even likes me. Isakishi, what are you going to do today? Hmm, it's Friday, but I have nowhere to go. If you're free, should we get something to eat? Oh, I have to work late again today. You know, have you noticed we've only been able to talk or text and we never met after our first date? Oh, really? I, I've been just so busy. I really don't have the extra time. You know? 
I mean, our relationship seems to be going somewhere on my phone, but I have a bad feeling about if he really likes me or not. So our choices for today are going to be A, he's making excuses because he doesn't really like you. Or is it B, he's really just busy, give him some time. Okay, so Christian. Yeah. Girl's perspective. Yeah. B is our answer. Really? Yeah. So you you going from B for B? Yeah. She's actually busy. You're saying that. Yeah. You, you try to believe that. That's the problem. I mean, no, I mean, our the conversation is fine. like they're, you know, they text all day. They talk on the phone, but they just haven't been able to meet up after the blind date. If mm-hmm. he didn't like me, he wouldn't, you know, text me. So, mm-hmm. of course, it's oh, B. OK, OK, OK. So uh, I, I, I was going to go for A anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, no. let me tell you one thing. It might hurt a little bit. OK. It might hurt. But there's a lot of guys who have... uh, (laughs) (laughs) How to put this in a way that it it sounds uh, nice and also do not, like, expose all the guys, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Expose, yeah. So there's uh, some type of guys that they have to look... They like to have a lot of prospects. Ah. Okay, so... This could be a girlfriend. This could be two. This could be two. Right? So now, are you talking from experience? No, or? no, no. I'm, I read a book about it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened in that moment is that the guy tries to figure out who's going to work better for him, but doesn't want to, you know, like throw away the other options. I know it sounds like garbage. It kind of is. But it's the way a, a, a lot of guys actually like work, like the, their mentality okay, okay, works okay, okay, kind okay. of like no, that. Yeah. Okay, I get the I get the mentality yeah. that like okay, some guys are poop heads, and yeah. you know they're gonna be doing this. But what I don't get is, Christian, out of the the year or so that you've been here on TMA, mm-hmm. you've told us that number one, men can never multitask. Mm-hmm. Number two, that they are the most simple minded creatures on this planet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how can they keep many bystanders yeah. at the same time? Okay. <laughs> Men cannot multitask. Exactly. That's why he's not meeting this girl. Because he's too busy being one person, <laughs> you know, taking, but taking, care about, taking, taking care about one other person. So he cannot meet probably the, the three or four he has. I don't know. It's kind of hard. You know what I mean? So, I probably let's let's say uh, let's put it on a statistics like probability. I think girl number one has high probabilities that become my girlfriend than number two or number three. So I'm gonna try to focus on number one, right? Because it's like the. Then what yeah. about number two and number three? Why are you texting them? He's the one that texted first. Yes. And like you know, Isaac, what are you doing today? He's the one that started the conversation. That's the problem. That's what. That's exactly the the moment I said, "Oh, this guy, this what? guy is what? having is having because he doesn't want he doesn't want the other to go away, right? He wants to keep the probability. Once he gets uh, like more sure about the gay girl number one, mm-hmm. then I guess he will like. Just stop communicating with the other people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If he was the girl contacting first, then I will think differently. Then I would probably think that he's actually busy. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's such a little thing. It's such a little thing. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's why you get confused uh, because you, you are not actually thinking of who contacted first who. Uh, yeah. That makes sense. Mimi's yeah. mom is a genius. She <laughs> said something a lot of times. Okay. If he likes you, you'll know. If he doesn't, you'll be confused. Class for that. That's an amazing way to settle down. You will know. And exactly, you will know. Because, you know, like, guys, as I told you, we're simple creatures. If we like someone, we express love. Also, if we are interested in someone... We make time no matter what. Mm. Yeah. He's making excuses. 
So it's a view of saying, so she has a relationship with her phone, mm-hmm. even if he's busy and it's true where it, their relationship is actually going. Huh. Mm, yeah. But, I mean, there was even a movie about this. He's just not that into you. Like, I I know this, but it's just, I feel that for girls, we kind of take at hand what's going on right then and there. Mm-hmm. We get them in. Because, yeah. I mean, for us girls... Yes, we have frenemies, but those Mm. frenemies aren't the type of people that we will actually invest time in, if Mm. you know what I mean. Like, if I have to keep up a social media frenemy, like you and I are frenemies, I would leave, like, a comment on your picture. I would Mm. like it. I would tag you in something to maintain the facade that you and I are friends, Mm -hmm. but I won't actually text you. You know what I mean? I won't put Mm -hmm. the effort in to actually be in your world yes but for girls i feel that if he's like when we get these kind of texts like you know Mm. i'll be working and then you text me and you're like you know he's like what are you doing and then i'm like oh yeah i answer and then you ask me again and then you're the one that keeps coming with the conversation all day long but then when i ask when are we gonna meet you're like oh i'm so busy i already get the misunderstanding that oh he likes me but your life mm, Yeah. yeah Wow. <laughs> we could, we, we, could, we could write a book after like one year and a half. Mind show, blown. Yeah. Mind we, blown. We could I, could, I could never. <laughs> I could never. I could never. Um, how many times do yeah. you think that you need to meet a person to kind of get who they are? So like we they mm. met on a blind date. So obviously like do you feel like just one blind date could no, really no get you into that? So how many times do you really think you need to meet a person to kind of get who they are? It's hard to put a number on it, actually. Okay. You know, like, because it, it could, it depends on the atmosphere that they had first date. Because mm-hmm. you could settle everything, like you could put everything down and just be yourself on the first date. Okay. But if the other person doesn't then you have to wait until that person does it. True. It depends a lot of the person. But I, I want, I'm going to just put a number on it just mm. for the sake of this conversation. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say three times. At least. At least. Yeah. Three times. Because, you know, when you meet the first time, you have this, like, you know, like, uh, I want to be someone fake sometimes, like, uh, image you want to give, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you also have this uh, kind of conversations that, that, you know, the killer ones. You know, mm-hmm. they, they have the killer conversations ready, so you put it on the first date. You know, she will laugh, you know, have a good time and everything because you have the killer conversations. I'm never going to date again. <laughs> I'm never going to trust men. I am so heartbroken. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, because there's actually killer conversations. Like, Christian, for- <laughs> you've ruined love for me forever. <laughs> I'm just telling you the way it is. That's what I'm the love doctor here. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that, there's like, you know, like actually not that superficial conversation. Mm-hmm. You actually mm-hmm. get deep and deep. But with the second one, I don't think it's enough. Maybe the third one, okay. you can actually start. Yeah. Like okay. knowing that person. Okay. So at least three dates. Yeah. Okay. At least three. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, it's, it's up to our listeners. Now, I, I took it for, if in this situation, I would totally be B. Like, he really is busy. Like, you know, just give us some time. You know, mm-hmm. if my girlfriend came to me, she was like, Isaac, you know, I've been texting this guy. His name's Christian. He keeps texting me. We always talk on the phone, but we never meet up. I don't know what's going on. I have this, like, really bad feeling. I'd be like, you know, girl, wait, you know, it's okay. So I'm going to go with B. I know I'm probably going to lose this week, but because I've. Yeah, you ruined he, you yeah. ruined love for me. <laughs> you ruined it for me. Um, but he's gonna go with A. Yeah. Uh, he's making excuses, but he really doesn't like you. So, fam, this is totally up to you guys. Who do you guys think is right in the situation? What kind of advice would you like to give to our listener? In the meantime, we've got some music for you. Then we're gonna come back, and then we're gonna learn some Spanish for today. Yes. So we've got T O O with their track Hana Durus Heko. Count one, two, and Timmy's coming up next. K-pop and fam and all Andy Dung Radio listeners. We are still in hour two and we've got Christian in the studio. What's up? It looks like that Havorp uh, was dropping by to say, yeah, why are you still talking to someone that you don't like? My point exactly. <laughs> <laughs> why do you keep texting me if you have no interest? Um, maybe he has, but not a lot. You know? it's, 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 it's not null. You know? It's not empty. <sighs> 
So I'm still going to go for B today because I can't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm still going for A. Yeah, he's still yeah. going to go for A. So fam, continue to send those in. Is it going to be A, the guy is making excuses because he really doesn't like you? Mm. Or is it B, mm. he's really just busy, so give him some time? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Tough. Tough choice. Christian has ruined love for me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never do that again. I'm that never going to love again. Yeah, I'm never going to do it again. I'm never going to love again. My love is to take blinds away. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's why we have Christian in the studio. Because one week it's going to be, he's going to be ripping off the band-aid for guys. Yeah. One week it's going to be, I'm going to be ripping off the band-aid for yeah, girls. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. certain stress will be like, that's oh, true. no, no, no. No, us girls, no, 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 no. no. Break with him, break it up. Yep, yep, no, 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 no. no. No, 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 no. Uh, yes. There's a lot of people actually commenting like I get a, I, I get traumatized, like better about it, guys. Tiger had a really good question, and I don't know. Okay. Maybe we can do it as like an actual story. Mm-hmm. Why do women grant access to protected areas and automatically think it means they're in a relationship with a guy? Ooh. I think this is actually a great topic. Ooh, we cannot discuss it right now. It's yeah, gonna take so it's gonna take long. so long. Keep that on hold. We're gonna do it. Can we do it next week? Yeah, we can we, do, we yeah. can try to do it yeah, next. Well, I think we can actually yeah. figure that out. Yeah, that's an interesting topic. I have a lot to talk about actually about that. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I want to see what. Oh, now <laughs> I need to have. We now need to have this next week because we need to figure out that. <laughs> It's an interesting topic also, you know, because of the cultural thing. Mm. Woo-hoo, you have no idea. Yeah, I mean, like, you, you know, know just like uh, the boundaries. It's like sometimes the girls like let down boundaries and then they like, yeah. But I feel, yes. yeah, okay, well, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll talk about yeah. that soon. We will. <laughs> I feel we need to kind of uh, make this an actual Case. segment. Yeah. yeah, a segment for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds mm-hmm. nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we've got uh, a really fun drama to check out. Our listeners actually, I caught my listeners talking about this not too long ago. Mm-hmm. And so this kind of is where this was uh, brought up. When highlighting just like an off a average office setting, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of our listeners said that the best drama that highlighted that was Mise. Did you watch this drama? I didn't watch it, but I heard about mm. it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, for me, when this drama first came out, I was like, there's no way I'm going to relate to it. I'm just going to have to save it for another day. Mm-hmm. Just kind of leave it there. It's the most relatable really? drama ever. It's not just about the office setting. Like, you uh-huh. know, you have your team managers or like, you know, the seniorities <laughs> and so on. Yeah. It's not just about that. It's, I think, just kind of like the the politics in adulting. Ooh. So, you know, whether you're in a restaurant, whether you're in an office, whether you're in a broadcast, anywhere there's going to be a senior there's going to be a junior. Yeah. There's going to be the freshman. You know, there's going to be the newbie there. Yeah. There's going to be the person that's been there too long. Mm-hmm. And it just, it kind of all plays in. And so we're going to be taking yeah. a seed from that. Oh, see, look, Brooke's even just like, yes, I love it. Yana is loving it as well. Wow, a lot of people watch this drama, actually. Yeah? Our listeners you know. loved this drama. But it's like a Korean culture focus, right? Mm-hmm. You, you think, like, other people in other countries can actually relate to it? Or? Let me ask. Fam, I know a lot of you um, did watch this and you have different backgrounds. Did you relate to this even though it was a Korean drama? Mm-hmm. Jane was actually saying that real battle in any workplace. There we go. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to have to take a look at that drama, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's weird how everything kind of plays in. So today, instead of uh, actually going into, like, a male-female scene, mm-hmm. we're actually going to take one of uh, Im Siwan's mm-hmm. uh, monologues. Mm-hmm. So he did a monologue. It was kind of like one of the narrations in there. Mm-hmm. And I think I can take every single line <laughs> from this and make it my new, like, profile background, put it in my social media <laughs> profile, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, you know, the link. Yeah, like a, so quote like, a, a quote of a picture. A quote of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. It's just like, <laughs> it's deep. Yeah, it it's is deep. deep. And I'm really curious as to which part of this we're going to be looking at today in from Spanish, yeah. in Spanish, because yeah. I think it's going to be extremely hard. Yes. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. I just, just read it first and we'll talk later. 
<laughs> He's scaring me, guys. He's scaring me. This is no spoilers. We're not going to be giving you guys any spoilers. This yeah. is actually, I think, one of the best just narratives that you could get to be introduced to the drama. So let's get started. Diving off of a dangerous place isn't the only show of courage. Denying the place I want to dive into. And going only on my own route is courage. Don't forget. I'm your m I am my mother's pride. 모자라고 부족한 자식이 아니다. I'm not a child who doesn't match up to standards. 웃음지어 고고픈 바람뿐인데 시간이 So to answer Christian's question on if this <laughs> drama was relatable, our listeners wow. have the answer. Emilita says this drama is a reality of office workers. It's so realistic. Uh, Jean was I, saying yeah. that most of the time the worker is never the problem. It's the people that, that we deal with every day. It's the real battle for that. Mm-hmm. Um, Yana was saying even if you're, I'm not a office worker, I can totally relate to me saying as well. Was there any wow. other messages on RV Live? Oh uh, yeah, uh, the title in Spanish of this drama apparently was uh, "Uncomplete Life." Oh wow! Yeah, does it make sense? Like mm-hmm. for the, for the, for the context of the drama, yeah. it it literally is translated that way. Me saying, "Oh, oh, <laughs> wow, okay, you get it now." Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so how you know in Korean there's a lot of uh, the, this, the abbreviations this, the, the and so on. And this was a web too character. first. Okay, so it comes from a webtoon mm, first. Wow. It was extremely popular. There's a lot of projects that start like a webtoon, right? Definitely. These yeah. days, a lot of the great scripts start off that way. Yes. Definitely. That's nice. I love this generation. Mm-hmm. I love this generation. Eddie GC is saying, Christian has a perfect voice for ASMR. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I should just record some ASMR. Like, wake up. <laughs> hey, baby. You should wake up right now. <laughs> You hate it. Save me. You hate it. <laughs> Save me. Okay. So, uh, what? Uh, Please don't make it too hard. Okay. <laughs> so, diving off of a dangerous place is the only shot of courage. <laughs> We're not gonna get into that because oh, okay. that's too hard. Okay. So, there's a phrase that you can actually use. It's gonna be uh, not every day. But when you want to emphasize how important you are, you can use this in every uh, like kind of moment like that. So, 나는 어머니의 자부심이다. I am my mother's pride. This did not translate well. Yes. Yeah. Because, you know, like 자부심, it's, it is pride. But it feels like different a little bit in Korean. Mm. No? Like, the meaning of it is extremely <clears throat> different in Korean. How you put it. Yeah, separately. how you put it. Yeah. Um, because, uh, yeah, it's like it's pride, but it just to be proud, I think, is better. Like, yeah, it, it, to be proud of somebody like, you know, the, the proud essence mm. of somebody, I think yeah. it makes more sense not to yes. just be like the pride of somebody. Yeah. So, for example, 나는 어머니의 자부심이다. If you try to put it a little bit different in English, that'll be I'm the... Uh, Pillar? No, no, it's not the pillar, but it kind of feels like that, you know? Like Yeah, it's if, like my mom is extremely proud of me. Like you would say yes, that more, yeah, yeah, more in English. That yes, yeah, yes. It, you would say that she is proud of me instead of like I'm the pride of her. Yes, you will put yourself not as a noun, but mm. you put your mom talking in a verb mm-hmm, form. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so in Spanish, it is actually possible to translate the same as Korean. So, okay. 나는 어머니의 자부심이다. Mm-hmm. 나는, you know 나는 in, in, in Spanish. 요, 요. Then, 요. Yeah, 요. Mm-hmm. then we go for the verb because in, in Spanish the verb is the next thing, mm-hmm. right? So the verb is to be. Mm-hmm. You know to be in Spanish, the present form? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, we. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy a Spanish dictionary. <laughs> yeah. I think I need it yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So soy, uh, soy. That'll be the present form or ser, which is the verb to be in Spanish. Okay, soy or ser. Yes. So soy or soy, ser. Soy, soy. You okay. have to use. Yo soy. soy. Yo soy. Yo soy. Yo soy. For example, when you introduce yourself, you say yo soy. <laughs> it's like soy. 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 <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, our listeners. El o orgul. Orgullo. Orgullo. Yes. De... Yeah. So people is exactly translating it correctly because, you know, we use that actually. We use that phrase. It can be translated. No problem. So, yo soy. Then we go for pride. I am the pride. Mm -hmm. Right? So, the pride is el orgullo. Okay. Orgullo means pride. El is because it's a male noun. Mm -hmm. Yo soy el orgullo. Then... From uh, uh, my mother's pride or my family's pride or my country's pride, then you can change that, mm -hmm. right? So, yo soy el orgullo de. You will put de because you're someone's pride, right? De. And then you will yo put soy el orgullo. orgullo de. And orgullo then you will de. put the final noun at the end. Who are you pride of, right? So, oh, mama. Yeah, for example, de mi mama. Papa. De mi papa. Of my country, how would you say that? Country? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the country. Country means país. 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 But it's my country, so you have to put me before that. Oh. Soy el orgullo de mi país. Mm. I'm my country's pride. Yeah, yo soy el or orgullo. Oh, this is hard to pronounce. Orgullo, orgullo de yeah. mama. De mi mamá. De mi mamá. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's, so it's yours. It's Yo yours. Soy... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's your mother, say, yeah. I have to say that it's my mom. <laughs> it's not just anybody's mama. It's my mama. Yeah, it's your, your mama. <laughs> Yo, yeah. soy el, or, Yo soy el orgullo or, de, de mi mamá. Mama. So you can, make an, you can make a little pause after saying orgullo. Yo soy el orgullo de mi mamá. Yo soy el or, or, <laughs> orgullo. 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 Mm. Orgullo. Oh. Like, like the kind of, kind of like this. Yo soy el orgullo mm. de mi mamá. Orgullo. Yes. De mi mamá. Yes, yes, oh. yes. That's nice. That's nice. Oh. So. It's so hard today. Yo soy el orgullo de mi mamá. Yeah. So. <sighs> We're going to act, act a little bit. <laughs> After the song break, Christian, you took what? too long. It's, it took yeah, too yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. One thing I've noticed yeah. that Queen V keeps telling me I'm really bad at managing time when Christian comes into the studio is because <laughs> in a blink of an eye, we're over time. Yeah, that's well, true. I don't that's remember true, yeah. saying anything, yeah. but we're over time. <laughs> Every, every week. time, yeah. Every week. Every time over time. I don't know how this happens. So, Vam, I'm going to try to figure this out during yeah. the song break. Yeah, you can do it. Can do it. So, we got Girls' Generation Sonia's Day with the boys, and we'll see you guys back after this with more of the show. Keep up and Vam and all Adidang Radio listeners. It's still our two. We've got Christian in the studio, and Sophia was saying that where do I sign up for this segment to be at least two hours? Oh, wow. That's such a nice compliment. Thank you very much. We could yeah, but... do it. We yeah, could, there would be no problem with us doing a two-hour show. Oh, no problem. There's actually there was some people writing, uh, "Isaac, eres mi orgullo." Oh, uh oh, -uh, that they are proud of me. Yes, <gasps> yes, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the funny thing in in Korean, when you say like, "Oh, like a humble thing," like, mm. "Oh, come on, me da." Like, if you translate it to Spanish, it sounds so weird it's because awful. we we don't like, "Oh, muchas gracias." <laughs> so we, we don't do that. We don't do that. It's like actually, you have to be a little bit more confident when oh. you say. That. Well, much, muchísimas gracias. Yeah, you have to be like, but is the Korean thing like this mixture? Of course, I love it. I love it. Every time I go to Mexico, I, I get like... My, you get confused. Yeah, cables cross. No, because, I mean, honestly, in English, like, you would... You kind of get like we do in Korea, which is like, oh, thank you. Oh, that's yeah, so sweet. Yeah, yeah, Aww. yeah. Oh. Yeah. And it's, it is kind of the same. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. Liz is like, I really love this show. Well, thank you so much for dropping by to me. With you thank you. Saying, She's so cute. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. To Cindy's parents. saying something about my, I think it's my hair color. Mm, it looks really nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, so nice. All I could all I could do, get there was color in me, so I'm guessing it was my hair. I want to get a sofa this color. It's <laughs> so nice. I'm a for real, for real. It looks so nice. It looks so nice. It's fading even more. So every time wow. I wash my hair, it's going to get it to become Amazing. a different color. Amazing. Okay. Uh, fam, I can't stall any longer. Okay, see today. you next week. <laughs> no, we can't. No, 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 no. Why? Okay, so last week, <clears throat> Christian chose the wrong... Oh, God. After I told you, I would never be able to do that. He's never going to get it. <laughs> he got the same exact penalty that I did <clears throat> last week. Yeah. So you have to do three types of egg yolk. Yeah. Honestly, it doesn't have to be long. Like the listeners, they wanted me to do like long songs and stuff like that. So yeah. they don't have to be long. Yeah. It can be just like one phrase mm-hmm. that's cute and then another phrase mm-hmm. that's cute or whatever. Yeah. So bring your cuteness. Think you're talking to like a six month old. <laughs> think of like a nephew or a niece <laughs> that you want to be super sweet with. You're like, Wing. oh, man, there's so much people watching right now. Okay, that doesn't matter because he's my punishment. I have to do it, right? So I'm going to go uh, with three. Okay. I already three. They're kind of short, but it's egg. It's gonna be the okay. egg in the so whole. So number one. Yeah. So number one, I'm gonna ask you if I'm pretty or not. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Isaac, na yepa. That's oh. not cute. <laughs> it is cute. That's not it cute. Is cute. No, it's not. Okay. I'm gonna try it again. More cute. It's not ipo. It's ipo. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting red. You can tell I'm getting red. Yeah, right he's now. getting okay, red. Okay. Isaac, na yepa. <laughs> okay, I'm better. I'm better. Okay, you're and number better. two. Number two is I'm getting mad. Okay, you're getting okay. mad. Okay, in a cute okay. way. Hey, you're getting mad. You're getting flustered in yes. a cute way. Ready? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and last but not least, number three. Last, yes, I'm gonna do the air bite. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh God! Oh yeah! Please stop it! Stop it! It was cute. Was he so cute, right? Ten? No. <laughs> no. Okay. So I mean, our listeners are saying, "Wait, it's scary." It is scary. Oh my God! Oh. Sophia was saying it was even a little bit creepy. <laughs> it is creepy. I don't have the cuteness in me, though. And Raul's saying, "I don't think you'll ever be cute." No, I, I, I think the same. I mean, I can be everything. I can be sexy. I can whatever Queen, you want. Not, Queen not V cute. is saying that this is not going to pass. Oh. So she's giving us a situation. Okay. Your girlfriend is extremely upset. Oh. And you have to put as much egg you on to make her feel happy. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Can you do the mad girlfriend? I will, I will, be, I will be the mad girlfriend. All right, all right. Let's try that. Let's try it. All right. Three, two, one. Hey, Isaac, let's just get something to eat or something. Hey, baby. Hey, don't be like that. Oh, come on, baby. I'm right here. Baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> You're just looking I'm, at me. I'm Why looking for something look? to throw at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for something to throw at you that will not injure you. So I don't have to send you to the emergency room. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't, I, don't, I don't think the egg is my thing. I I, I don't want to. Fam, let's not make him do this anymore. Uh, no, I think it's a punishment for all <laughs> of you. Ivana was saying, please stop. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can tell people like around here, like they're like, oh my god, why, 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 why did she do this? Like Queen Bee was himself? waiting outside and she's just like, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not. I, I think I, if there's, there's a kind of an egg school here in Korea, I could assist too. You want me to help you? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. They ask me so much to do egg all the time. So I, I I don't know. It's the thing I have to learn maybe if I want to keep um, living here. So Vio's like, just dump him, Isaac. Run. <laughs> <laughs> I will dump myself. You know? Nikki uh, was saying, Latinos, we can't do egg yolk. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of weird. We cannot do that thing. I think it's not in our blood. It's not in uh, your blood to do it. Yeah, it's not all in right. our blood. So uh, we need to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to do the, We need to do the countdown for today to find out. I think I'm going to be doing the penalty next week, which is fine. Nah, but nah, still, I, I don't want. I, I, I mean, we need to find out. He's totally not having it today. Nah, too. I'm not having it. Nah, <laughs> All right, so let's do the countdown. <laughs> Ten, Ten, nine, nine eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, three, two, two one. one. Uh, uh, that was that was the creepiest alarm. I, okay, so. 
Here's the numbers. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be this much, but here are the numbers. Okay. 97.4% of our listeners, so pretty much all of our listeners, wow. sided with... Smashing victory for... Christian Burger! Everybody agreed yes. that he's making excuses because he doesn't like you. <laughs> Y'all have ruined love for me. I will never trust a male again. Never, All never. men are awful. <laughs> no. So start sending numbers right now because we have we have numbers today. We have numbers from one to five. You can choose. Uh, you can make Isaac choose one of the numbers between one to five. You wanna make you wanna make a shuffle? I can make a shuffle a little bit. So I'm shuffling right now the deck <laughs> you can pick one I'm so, fine okay we have numbers already we have three okay yes three oh. a lot of threes is, is there any number you feel confidence about like I, like I mean your, three would be fine I don't care do you have a lucky number three four no I don't have a lucky number okay two three two uh -huh. two, two three, three two three it's up to you what should I do four two, no three, it's, two. It's, it's your thing yeah I'm not I'm gonna choose you know what you. Uh, uh, I don't know what am I gonna do <laughs> this one That's the number Season? three. Number three? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, wait. Number I'm going to give you a chance to change your mind. No, don't go it. <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, go for okay. it. Okay. And your punishment is... Cringe phrase in more than one language. More ego? <laughs> no, I no. have to do more ego. <laughs> no, no, no. Ogura <laughs> desa. So that means you have to... Do I can only speak English and Korean. No, so. you have to do it in Spanish. <laughs> no, you have to do no. it in Spanish. I'm going to send it to you and you're going to practice Bam, it. Damn, we're way over time today. <laughs> so we're going to get a chance to see you next week. Uh, okay, so Queen Bee says I have to do it in Korean, English, and Spanish. Yes. Okay. I love you. <sighs> Christian, we'll see you next week. Listeners, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye-bye! Sending him out of the studio today <laughs> is NTV with Dramatic, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place.